Now, I'm gonna hold your hand when I say this. It's time to normalize using presets when it comes to finding your own editing style. I know. Honestly, I wish I used more presets years ago when I started my photography career. And not because I'm not creative enough to do my own edits, but because seeing the settings in a preset actually helped me understand how other photographers edit, and it even taught me a lot about color grading. Presets are like a masterclass on adjusting settings to get the look that you want. And I know what you're thinking, presets are ugly these days, or they're overused and don't give an authentic vibe. But who says that you can't tweak them? Technically speaking, presets are often developed using images captured with a specific camera model, which can lead to inconsistent results when applied to photos taken with other cameras. So you might need to calibrate the preset for your specific camera brand. So at the end of the day, why struggle to find the right edit that matches the style of your favorite photographer when you can achieve it in minutes? So let me share with you some of my favorite presets and some sources where you can find them for free. I tried to choose three different ones that are perfect for different types of photography. Let's start with film. Everyone has been going crazy for the aesthetic film edit. Many photographers are actually faking it on their digital shots because the film camera produces a much stronger, richer image with unmatched aesthetics that no digital could automatically produce. So we need to replicate that. There's nothing wrong with it, but it can be tricky to make it look authentic. It's funny how we now prefer more out of focus pictures over sharp, clear ones. Trends come and go and we're here to make the most of them. And honestly, I love film photography myself. And I've been trying to find that perfect grain gold look that Kodak film gives. And trust me, it was no easy task. We know film circles around gold or green tints, but as long as you find a good base, the temperature and tint can be adjusted based on your preferences. Next up is true to color presets. These are super popular with wedding photographers these days. We all remember the sepia bride drama, right? Since then and some since before, prefer to play it safe. But drama aside, true to color edits give a natural look to all surroundings. I once believed that you needed to move all the sliders to get a beautiful edit, but we all know now that that's not true. As you can see here, the differences might be subtle, but adjusting the light makes everything look cleaner and dreamier. All those small details stay true to reality. Brides love these edits, and not just brides only. In my opinion, this preset will look amazing on any landscape photography. And lastly, everyone needs a good, timeless black and white preset. One of the biggest advantages of black and white photography is its ability to highlight emotions. Without the distraction of colors, the viewer's attention is drawn to expressions, gestures, and interactions. Personally, I use black and white presets a lot when it comes to weddings and portraits. There's just something really special about capturing life's moments in black and white. This classic style never goes out of fashion. You can never really go wrong with it. So where can you find these presets? I've done some research for you guys. After scouring the internet for the most up-to-date and creative presets, I found some that barely needed any tweaking. You can find a drive link with all the presets you can download in the description box below. If you want more, I'll also leave a list of websites in the description that helped me find these gems. Now to wrap it up, presets are still cool. They're a great base for finding the style you love, so don't be ashamed to use them to test new ideas. Until next time, make sure you like this video if it helped with your photography editing workflow. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below what other types of videos you'd like us to create. Bye friends!